Welcome to another cooking episode. On today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you one of my all-time favorite dishes growing up. So today I was driving to work and I passed by this local restaurant. It's not really a local, it's a big chain. Everyone's probably heard of it, Denny's. At Denny's growing up, when I was a kid, it was a very special place that we would go to. Me and my parents and my sister at the time, uh, we weren't really wealthy growing up. We just, you know, could survive and make ends meet, if that makes sense. And uh, Denny's was a place we would go sometimes on a Sunday or birthdays or something like that. And there was one dish that always stood out to me, the super bird. So, I'm gonna do my version of it. It's something that's really close to my heart and I, I think you guys will like this, so stay tuned. Okay, so to build the super bird, my version of it is pretty simple. I got two pieces of rye bread. I got some kimchi aioli that I made. I'm gonna spread it on the bottom. Nice and evenly. Both pieces. Next, I'm going to take some home roasted turkey, lay it on there. This is exactly four and a half ounces. I like my sandwiches to have plenty of meat. I don't like to be cheap on the meat. I like to fold it like this to make it look a little bit bigger than what it really is. Almost like giving that nice illusion of a nice big sandwich. Next, I'm going to take two pieces of sliced fresh mozzarella. I'm going to take some crispy bacon. You can cook your own or you can already buy it cooked. Now, this is an heirloom tomato straight from the garden. So this one is a little bit really nice and juicy tomato. Two slices right on top. You see how big that sandwich is already? A little kosher salt. Some fresh ground pepper. Now we're gonna close it like so. Next, we're gonna move over to the grill. You can see my little lodge grill is nice and hot. I have it on medium heat. I'm gonna take my super bird and just put it right on top. Now to add some weight, I'm gonna put a pan right on top of that. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinion, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things. I gotta just let it all out, I'm talking about the shit they've been talking about. Telling me I should do this, telling me I should do that, telling me, telling me. Now it's been about two minutes. I'm going to take it and flip it over. Look at those nice marks. Same thing. Pan goes back on top to add some weight. Talking the truth and then stabbing my back, they will knock me off track. No, no, too many things have been building, been hard to deal with. I just been drinking. Remember my moves in the past, I'm wondering what was I thinking. Lately, I'm living in fear, wondering what if the end is so near. All of this shit going on, the shootings are strong. One shot to the head and I'm gone. I'm losing control, but I can't let it go because I'm trying to get more and I've been in the. The only thing to do now is to cut it. I had to cut it kind of on a bias. There you go. There's my version of Denny's Super Bird Sandwich. So there it is, my take on the Superbird from Denny's, my childhood favorite sandwich I ever had. 
Very simple idea, a couple little twists. You saw a little kimchi aioli, heirloom tomatoes, applewood smoked bacon, fresh mozzarella, and rye bread with house roasted turkey. Now one thing left to do is to taste it and see if it stacks up to the super bird. Simply amazing. Thank you for watching this week's episode. Uh, stay tuned for every Saturday. There's a new cooking episode. Every Tuesday, there's a new tips cooking show. I do. Mondays and Thursdays are the vlog, which just follows me on everyday stuff. As always, leave me any comments, any feedback, any suggestions for stuff that you want to see, and anything for the tips or for the cooking. Don't forget to hit subscribe. You can always find me on Instagram at Chef Jesse Q, on Twitter at Chef Jesse Q. Till next time. Take it easy. I've been in the zone and I'm moving alone. I don't pick up the phone with my family. Call up and doing it wrong and I don't know what's happening. Trying to get what I've just been imagining. Getting close and I've just been examining all of the fictions the game has been packaging. I've been keeping real. I've been doing what I feel. I've been out here trying to kill.